With me today is Carl Dickob. Carl is an old friend. We don't see each other regularly, but we've been working together for over a decade. I think that's correct, Carl. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, and Carl has the opportunity of living in a really nice part of Ontario. He's up around Kinmount, and he has a similar passion to fishing that I have, but in a different area. Carl, why don't you tell the viewers what your goals are and what you do? Well, I'm involved with fish since I'm 10 years old. I'm now 70, so I have quite a bit experience, but mostly land-based fish farms. I joined the uh, old Ontario Aquaculture Association about 25 years ago, but this associ association broke up about seven years ago, so we had no uh, representation for land base, so I formed with the help of friends and lawyers a new association. What's the name of it? Fisheries Enhancement and Aquaculture Association. Our thinking was, or my thinking, whatever, that every stakeholder, fishermen, landowners, pond owners, cottage association, and aquaculturists have a stake in our natural resources and we want to do it properly. That's why we call it Enhancement and Aquaculture Association. And we have now quite a different uh, membership as what I envisioned, cottage association, uh, aquaculturists, pond owners, land owners, and uh, I think we have Italo involved. In yes, I try to well. promote the association as much as I can. Yeah. Now, fundamentally, okay, we're going to cut through all the fluff stuff. What's the most important thing when it comes to enhancement? And I know you have law enforcement and everything else and the government's part. What do you need to have a healthy fishery in many lakes that you're directly involved in? To my opinion is that the uh, Ministry of Natural Resources that have quite some good people, but their thinking is still the old way and we have to change that and it is very hard to turn the Titanic around on a dime. Mm. But with good minister support, we had a good minister in Chris Hodson. We got a lot of changes done. He even forced me to become a Canadian citizen. Good for him. I think so. I always wanted to be. And now we have uh, the Honorable Donna Cansfield, who I met several times. We were at her levy in January and so on. And she is really supportive because she sees the need for it and that the MNR can do everything by themselves. The funds are not there. And I envision certain things yet that I haven't put on paper yet that would create more money and better cooperation, get the, uh, the fisheries better established so that young people, if they go fishing, they catch fish, don't get disillusioned, and then they go back home and sit behind the computer again. Of course. And I think the minister sees that point. We have uh, what, about 400,000 uh, Chinese, Vietnamese people and so on, and they eat at least three, four times a, a week fish. And all what we can serve them now is rainbow trout from the few cage culture farms. Right. But they would like to have uh, bass, walleye, crappy, perch and, and such fish, which can be easily uh, cultured in ponds, which is much more environmentally friendly than having in, in open water. Yeah. And, uh, and just to put one meal of bass on the table for all our uh, Asian friends, we would need about 300,000 pounds of bass, each bass, one, one meal. Each, that's amazing. It's one pound. 
Wow. And right now we culture nothing, yeah. but we bring in a lot of the fish that they eat from, in my opinion, questionable sources. I agree. If yeah, you, the way they raise if them. you look at where they come from and what kind of pollutants are in them, it's a shame. We are the best country, in my opinion, in the world. We have all the water sources clean. We have uh, the studies that the government paid for hundred thousand of dollars and then it was never followed up on it. And if we would, especially now where the economy is really sure. down, we could get the construction industry going to sure. build, build ponds, uh, ponds yeah. equipment will be uh, needed. You know, one of our members, he is the largest uh, uh, dealer fish farm supply. He can just do supply anything from the net to even a recycling system. Wow. Um, but we need the support of the government. Of course. You know, because we are just in a way here in the beginning of fish farming that has been neglected for too long. Only studies, 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 and no I action. think most of the government, which I think are honest people, but they get duped. Of course. You know, and well, that, I think they're listening. I think they're listening. For and sure. And you have to keep for your sure. stamina up and keep going, because I believe you're going to achieve your goal. Well, it, with the help of everybody yes. and, and the population yes. requires it. So I think we are on the right track yes. now. Carl, thank you very much for having us again. Well, You're doing you're a great job. Quite welcome. So it's always nice to see you. Same here. Okay, thank you.